Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Facebook Pixel to your Squarespace website in 2023. Facebook Pixel is a powerful tool that allows you to track the actions and behavior of visitors on your website and use this data to create targeted ads and measure their effectiveness. By integrating Facebook Pixels with your Squarespace site, you can gain valuable insights into your audience and optimize your advertising efforts. So in this video, we'll walk you through the process of setting up your Facebook pixel to your Squarespace website. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end. So you have full experience. First, let's start by opening whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser. And of course, in your case, you can use any other browser that could, could be possibly uh, working for you. If you have any browsers, open whatever preferred uh, browser you have. And then you will have, of course, or if you haven't already created a Facebook Business Manager account using your Facebook account's credentials, you will have to go and create an account. Or if you have an account already, just go and log into it. Go to the URL section, simply type business, uh, business.facebook.com and hit the enter button. That should take you right away to the home screen or main screen of that without any problem. And of course, if you don't have an account, you can always go and create an account for yourself. After that, uh, in the business settings, you will have to create a new business or select an existing one to associate with your uh, Squarespace website. As an example, this page on Facebook, let's say it's associated with my Squarespace website. Now, in the business manager, you'll have to click on the data source and the left hand menu and select pixels and click on add to create a new pixel. And make sure to follow the prompt to set up your Facebook pixel by entering a name for your pixel and agree to the terms and click on create. After creating the pixel, Facebook will provide you with a unique pixel code. Copy this code, you will need it to connect your Facebook pixel to your Squarespace site. Now, we'll have to go and access our Squarespace settings. So, go and open a new tab, type squarespace.com and hit the enter button. That should take you to the Squarespace website right away. And again, if you have an account, just log in into it. But if you don't, you'll have to go and create an account. For me, I'm just going to access my account. After that, or you'll have to simply for you, as, as we said, access your uh, Squarespace settings. So log into your Squarespace account, navigate to your website settings. An example, let's say this is my website. Just click on it. And we'll have to go uh, to the settings, then advanced tab. And then, of course, we'll have to click on external services. In the external services section, paste your Facebook pixel code in the provided field and save the changes. And Squarespace is now connected with your Google or sorry, with your Facebook pixel. And of course, once your things are connected, you will have to verify your pixel installation. So ensure that Facebook pixel uh, is working correctly. You can go back to your uh, Facebook business manager as an example and go to insights as an example here. And navigate to the pixels and click on setup uh, facebook will guide you through the verification process and of course in the site you'll be able to find everything that you want so you will need to give it some time as an example to collect all the data from your squarespace website uh, this time is a long time maybe you will need to give it like one day just come back the other day and see if uh, you have the data that you need here so in the overview you will find everything here you'll find the results audience uh, benchmark you can even compare your business with another business or even you can here go and add a business to watch if you want to on the overview for content this will just see how your content is doing on this page that is related to your squarespace website and uh, something like that so basically you can explore like the various reports and insights provided by uh, this Google, uh, sorry, this Facebook pixels to gain like a deeper understanding of your website's performance, audience, demographics, and traffic sources and more. Other than that, if you don't want to use the Facebook uh, like uh, insights or pixels, you can always, as an example, use the Google Analytics. It may be helpful as an example. So go and open a new tab, go to Google Analytics. Uh, I'm type whatever they will understand so go to this first link make sure to log in into your account if you have an account and if you don't have an account you can simply go and create an account so simply here you'll have to connect to your Squarespace website I've showed you already how to do that in one of my videos before and once you do so of course 
uh, once you created your account and connected your account you same here for here you'll have to go and the, take the id provided by uh, google analytics go to uh, here to the settings advanced settings paste it there give it a day or two again uh, not two two is too much just give it one day and come back here and of course here you'll be able to see uh, or gain a deeper understanding of your website as we said and you'll be able, be able to explore like various uh, exports or reports and sites provided by even google analytics from here and you will normally be good to go so if you don't know like before how to do that of course you can go to settings here you can scroll down look for a uh, external services or you can simply look for meta something let me just go and look for that so here normally if we scroll down we will find uh, something like that so as you can see here meta pixel and ads you'll simply get the id pixel that you get from here paste it here and as we said give it a day and you'll be able to find all the analytics that you want from here you can even go and copy that as you can see, pastes in the data feed URL uh, field and the Meta Business Manager to create dynamic products ads on Meta. So as an example here, if we go to benchmark, even if we click on add business, we can find it by name or uh, we can go and insert the link. And of course, other than that, even as an example, go scroll down again, click, go to connected accounts, connect an account, connect your Facebook account or even Instagram account to post your uh, products on Instagram, Facebook, or on, uh, you can use even Search Console, LinkedIn, Pinterest, uh, Flickr, uh, 500px, uh, Show Now, and of course, Square Swarm and Tumblr. And as you can see, other than this, of course, so you have various settings that you can go and go through all of all, all of them and check whatever suits you as you can see. So depending on whatever suits you as you can see here, we have a lot of options, developer tool, imports and exports content. So a lot of things that will take a lot of time, will take forever if we go through all of them. So basically once you get your insights once you get your analytics of like google pixels just ignore google analytics at the moment so you'll find everything here on the overview and you'll be able to see everything you can even uh, like verify the pixel installations to ensure like uh, facebook pixel is working correctly you can go back to your uh facebook manager here and see if the numbers are changing or not after one day of course not in the meantime and you'll normally be good to go so if you reach this point of this video congratulations you've successfully connected your facebook pixel to your Squarespace website, allowing you to track and analyze visitor interactions to improve your marketing efforts. With Facebook Pixel's valuable data insights, you can create more targeted ads and reach your desired audience effectively. And if you found this tutorial helpful, uh, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribe for more useful uh, guides. So thank you for watching and happy tracking with Facebook Pixels on your Squarespace and I'll see you in the next video.